In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect WooCommerce to the accounting software Xero. I use Xero by WooCommerce plugin, which is $79 plus tax on a yearly subscription. I'm going to assume that you have an active Xero account. I'll go through step by step how to connect them and how to set it up. So if you're looking to connect Xero to WooCommerce, then you're in the right place. Links to the software and time codes are in the description below. What does it allow you to do? Xero for WooCommerce gives you the ability to set up automatic creation of invoices in Xero for e-commerce sales. After the module is installed and configured, each order placed in your WooCommerce store is securely sent to your Xero account to keep records up to date. All product shipping discount and tax data is sent to Xero. When payments are made, they are applied to the appropriate invoice and keep everything in balance. So let's get Xero connected. Our first step is going to be to get the plugin from WooCommerce, so go to WooCommerce.com. Then you want to go to extensions, all extensions. Then we're going to do a search for zero X E R O. We'll see there it should pop up in this window. We'll click on that. And then we're going to need to buy that. So I'm going to buy that now. Add to site. And then we just want to make sure that we put our website address in this box. Add to site. And then I'm going to connect store. All right. So now I'm going to log in to our site. And I press connect. Then we want to press approve. And now it's installing the extension for us directly from WooCommerce. And then we should be able to scroll down and we should have WooCommerce zero integration here and it's activated. So bring up your settings page because we're then going to integrate all the client ID and the APIs. So you logged into your zero account then just do a quick search for Zero Developer Portal, open that, and providing you signed in, it should take you to this page. So I can log in. All right, so we can see there we're in the right account. Press New App. I'm going to call it WooCommerce to Zero. It's a web app. We're going to add the website URL in here, so I'm going to paste that in. And to find your redirect URL, you're going to need to go back to your WooCommerce site. There we go, and it's this section here, so copy that. That's your OAuth one. Go back to zero, paste that in there. Tick I've read terms and conditions, press create app. Okay, so the name, it doesn't like zero in it, so that's no problem. I will just call it WooCommerce. Create app. Now go to configuration. You'll need to copy this client ID, so click on the I. Or you can press copy, paste this in to your WooCommerce client ID, go back to zero, generate a secret key, copy that key, back to WooCommerce, paste in the secret key, in WooCommerce scroll to the bottom and then press save. So what you should see now is a client ID, a secret key, and then you want to press sign in with zero to authorize it. Sign in with zero. Then we're greeted with this. Press allow access. And boom, you're connected. We've got one more important step to do. Go back to zero.com. Make sure you're logged in. Then we want to go to accounting. We want chart of accounts. We're going to basically need to match these to our WooCommerce settings. So depending on which country you're in, these might be different to what I've got. So I'm going to make sure that happens is these codes match these codes here. So I'm going to fill those in now. So I've matched what I think is correct. Uh, it's always good to get your accountant to check these are correct. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to recommend the client's accountant checks these to make sure I've done them right. Another really important step you need to do is send invoices, select on payment completion, send payments on payment completion, and then scroll to the bottom and then press save. But other than that, I think Xero uh, is now fully configured and operational. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and hit that like button and smash that subscribe. If you didn't like it, well, hit that dislike twice and I'll see you on the next one.